animals are supposed to be in things like the ocean and the jungle, things aren't supposed to be inside the animals. But sometimes they are. Okay, cards on the table, that was a weird way of wording that, eh, but who cares? Basically, sometimes animals eat odd stuff. These are the 15 weirdest things found inside animals. Number 15. Coins. Veterinarians spent seven hours removing 915 coins weighing 5 kilograms from a marine turtle with severe stomach pain. They spent seven hours assisting Omsin, half of that time removing coins from its stomach, both local and international. The surgeons had not expected the surgery on the unlucky sick turtle to take so long until they encountered the massive coin stash in its stomach, which necessitated a larger incision than they had anticipated. Um Sin, Thai 4 Piggy Bank, was transferred to the facility from the Royal Thai Navy Sea Turtle Conservation Center in Chonburi Sata Heap District last month after it hardly swam. When the heap of money was discovered during a CT scan at the university, the vets were taken aback. Doctors are really surprised to have found this inside a turtle. It was one of 26 turtles transferred from a pond in Chonburi's Sriracha District when the local municipality decided to rehabilitate the area. The turtle will be cared for by the professors for one week before being returned to the center for complete recuperation. Throwing money into a turtle pond is said to ward off ill luck in Thailand. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Ostrich the ostrich is the biggest bird in the planet. The male of the species may stand over 9 feet tall, while the female is between 5'7 and 6'7. They live in nomadic groups of up to 100 people, with the chief hen as their leader. Seeds, bushes, grass, fruit, and flowers, from which they also receive water, as well as insects, make up the majority of the ostrich's diet. And if you had to inspect an ostrich after death, you'd undoubtedly discover something similar in its gut. Frederick William Bond, on the other hand, was the Zoological Society of London's assistant treasurer and photographer. One of the zoo's ostriches died suddenly in 1930. A post-mortem inspection of the large bird's stomach showed a dizzying variety of items. They included three odd cotton gloves, three handkerchiefs, the wooden center of a silk spool, a piece of lead pencil, part of a bicycle valve, part of a metal comb, one piece of wood, two yards of string, Ring, an alarm clock key, and many other items. Ostriches are toothless. This, along with their tiny beak, means they must ingest stones or pebbles to aid in the chewing of their meals in the intestine. This ostrich most likely ate coins, gloves, and other items to aid in the digestion of its meal. Unfortunately, eating a four-inch nail proved disastrous as it resulted in its death. Number 13. Baby Alligator Freshwater bass are overlooked predators. Known to eat frogs, snakes, and even newborn alligators, freshwater fish in the genus Micropterus are known as black basses in North America and are prized game fish. These creatures may be found across North America's eastern areas, including parts of Canada and Mexico. Despite their unassuming appearance, American fishermen revere these black basses and have built entire communities around bass fishing. Micropterus may reach a length of 20 inches on average. Although largemouth bass can reach 3 feet, black basses have large lips that may expand to a gigantic size, indicating a broad and flexible diet. The largemouth and smallmouth bass, two of the biggest black bass species, are famously opportunistic eaters. They will devour anything that can fit into their hungry jaws, and they are unexpectedly the apex predators in any given ecosystem. Ecosystem. The menu includes smaller fish, insects, worms, crayfish, snails, frogs, snakes, tiny birds, animals, and even newborn alligators. Keep an eye out for alligator-eating fish. Number 12. Towel 
Monty the Jungle Carpet Python, who got a little hungry between meals recently and chose to devour a whole beach towel, could have been doomed. Footage of veterinarian Dr. Olivia Clark and her crew removing it from Monty's stomach went viral after being shared online. The snake was brought in by Monty's owners after they observed it enjoying a late-night feast, according to a Facebook post from the hospital. The snake was given anesthesia, and a radiograph was taken to ensure that the towel was still within its belly. They then inserted an endoscopic camera down Monty's throat and delicately grabbed the towel's tip with forceps. The moment the claw actually grips the towel within the snake's belly is captured on video by the endoscopic camera. A heavy coating of goo appeared to be covering the towel. One vet holds the snake's mouth open as the other delicately takes the tip of the towel out, as shown on video. The second vet eventually puts the forceps down and begins a one-sided tug-of-war with the towel. For the camera, the vet then displayed the full-sized towel. It was smiles all around and we're happy to report that both Monty and the beach towel have lived to see another day. Monty is said to be just fine now. Number 11. Spoon We've all heard of the expression, a spoonful of honey, but what about a honey full of spoon? Well, that's just what happened to Honey the dog. Nobody knows how it got there, but the x-ray shows that this dog ingested a 7-inch tablespoon that might have killed him. The $2,500 surgery was hampered by the dog's spleen and intestines getting in the way, but the pup was able to return home to his mother the next day. The abnormal habit of ingesting non-nutritive items like dirt, hand clay, paper, chalk, fabric, or plastic is referred to as pica. Limiting your dog's access to non-nutritive materials such as plastic, pebbles, and threads is the best method to keep them from eating them. Make careful to put anything that your dog is drawn to out of reach. A trip to the veterinarian is required if your pet begins to devour anything other than food and treats. Your veterinarian will check to see whether your pet has any dietary deficits or electrolytes electrolyte abnormalities. They can assist you deal with your pet's unusual behavior once they've ruled out any underlying issues. If your dog has feces addiction, make sure they're on year-round monthly parasite preventatives and get their stool tested for parasites at least once a year. Number 10. Earrings when a lady leaned down to take a photo at the Sydney Zoo, an emu swallowed her $550 Tiffany & Co. earrings. As Ashna Ali, a mother of two, took a spontaneous photo, Bert, a flightless bird, devoured her earrings. The sassy emu can be seen admiring the pricey earring only minutes before devouring it. Bert, the cocky emu, has established himself as the resident jewelry thief at Sydney Zoo after grabbing a $500 and $50 earring from a zoo visitor. Emus eat seeds, berries, bark, nuts, and stems, among other things. They also consume insects, reptiles, and other creatures that their intestines and beak can manage, but Bert went mad for a costly item that wasn't on his nutritional plan. You can see him looking at my earring, Allie said of the selfie. She explained, I sat down and as soon as I finished clicking, he just grabbed it, grabbed my ear, and I felt a peck. Allie informed a local news source that the robbery spoiled her pleasant day out, so she snapped many photographs to show zoo employees so that the suspected offender might be promptly recognized. The zoo manager, Chris Rivette, was made aware of the resident criminal wandering wild on his premises in order to track down the money needed to replace the pricey earring. Rivette expressed optimism that the jewelry would be returned to Allie stating that the zoo was searching Bert's droppings every day. Number 9. Biggest Heart Ever a 440-pound heart was removed from a 78-foot blue whale corpse that washed ashore on the Newfoundland shoreline in 2014, and it measured about 5 feet from the top of the aorta to the bottom of the lowest chamber. It is presently on exhibit at the Royal Ontario Museum in Canada as the first blue whale heart to be properly preserved. The heart of a blue whale is the largest in the world, weighing 400 pounds. That's roughly 35 
gallon paint cans worth of weight. The heart of a blue whale is barely 1% of its overall weight, yet the whale's massive weight is sustained by water. Is the heart of a blue whale truly the size of a small car? No, it's more akin to a tiny golf cart. It's still a huge one. During dives to depths of over 1,000 feet, the pulse of a blue whale slows considerably. A diving blue whale's heart dropped to 4 to 8 beats per minute in one study, with an extreme low of only 2 beats, as a desperate attempt to save oxygen. The aortic artery miraculously constricted between those beats to keep blood flowing. The whale's heart accelerated to 25 to 37 beats per minute as it rose to the surface to breathe. Scientists believe that a whale's heart operates within physical constraints and cannot beat faster, which explains why whales have grown to their maximum size. The aorta is over 9 inches long. That's the equivalent of a dinner plate in size. The greatest truth of all is that a blue whale's heartbeat can be detected from a distance of 2 miles. Number 8. Shark Arm Case the shark arm case refers to a series of events that began on April 25, 1935 in Sydney, Australia, when a captive 12-foot tiger shark spewed out a human arm, sparking a murder inquiry and prosecution. The tiger shark was caught two miles off Coogee Beach in mid-April and taken to the Coogee Aquarium Baths, where it was put on display for the public. It felt unwell after a week and vomited in front of a small crowd, floating in the pool were the left hand and forearm of a man with a unique tattoo. The tiger shark had swallowed a lesser shark before being captured. The human arm had been eaten by this smaller shark at first. The arm was recognized by fingerprints extracted from the hand as those of James Jim Smith, born in England in 1890, a former boxer and small-time criminal who had been missing since April 7, 1935. Lady Smith, Smith's wife, and Edward Smith, Smith's brother, both positively identified Smith's arm and tattoo. Smith's lifestyle was high risk because he was also a police informant. When it was discovered that the limb had been cut off with a knife, a murder inquiry was launched. Early investigations rightly led authorities to Reginald William Lloyd Holmes, a Sydney businessman. Holmes denied any involvement, but he was assassinated by a guy named Francis Brady, who had previously killed Smith and fed him to a shark when the three of them were caught up in a criminal ring. Number 7. Bao Shun. Bao Zhishun was born in the town of Qifeng. Since then, he has established himself as one of the world's tallest individuals. He was formerly the tallest human alive, standing at a massive 7'9". Zhishun was a normal height until he was 16 years old, when he suddenly began to grow like a weed. He joined the People's Liberation Army of China around that time, and it appears that finding a uniform big enough for him wasn't simple. The extremely lengthy arms of Zhishun came to the rescue in 2006 when a dolphin was discovered to have ingested so much plastic that it was in risk of dying. Dolphin specialists tried to empty out the dolphin's stomach by reaching all the way to the bottom, but they couldn't get all the way down. So they summoned Zhishun, who used his massive arms to take out the plastic. The dolphin was saved from its weird meal by one of the biggest humans who ever lived. Number 6. Newspaper A newspaper piece from 1883 was discovered within the body of a huge sunfish by a museum. During conservation work on the massive display at the Natural History Museum in London, researchers discovered the shredded newspaper from the Sydney Morning Herald within the 3-meter fish. On December 12, 1882, a ton-plus fish washed up on the coast of Sydney Harbour where naturalist Edward Ramsey spotted it. The incredible monster was still alive when it was winched ashore by a crane, but it was swiftly chopped to death by axe-wielding townspeople, according to the Sydney Morning Herald. 
A foreman stepped in and had the sunfish's remains taken to the Australian Museum, where it was eventually sent to London. The sunfish's discovery was published in the Herald at the time, and it was described as a monster, that it is of a species hitherto undescribed. The British experts uncovered a subsequent newspaper item while working to repair the animal, which was beginning to split. The scientists were delighted to discover a broken chair and a shred of the Sydney Morning Herald inside. As they removed the creature's stuffing, according to Natural History Museum conservator Lou Ollington Jones, inside the fish, straw and pieces of ancient wooden floors were also discovered. To ensure maintaining the fish in one piece, it was restored and placed on a new frame. Number 5. More Baby Crocodiles Museum curators in the Netherlands were surprised when they discovered over 50 crocodiles wrapped up together while prepping for a new display that would allow visitors to digitally examine a crocodile mummy. Another previous scan, conducted in the 1990s, revealed that the almost 10-foot-long specimen was really two tiny adolescent crocodiles rather than one larger one. However, no more creatures were visible in the earlier image. The sophisticated 3D scans used for the new show surprised the curators by revealing 47 more young crocodiles, all individually wrapped and mummified alongside the two original creatures. No, no, no. This is the first crocodile that we've seen in 11 years. According to Laura Weiss, a curator at the National Museum of antiques in Leiden, where the crocodile mummy has been stored since 1828, the 2,500-year-old specimen was most likely a sacrifice to the crocodile deity Sobek. Weiss noted that ancient Egyptians believed in life after death, which might explain why both infant and adolescent crocodiles were sacrificed and mummified. As a sacrifice to the gods, several crocodiles have been mummified before. One crocodile was mummified after death with 20 hatchlings and exhibited in 2015 at the British Museum in London, while two others were examined at the Hearst Museum of Anthropology in California. Number 4. Glass. A veterinarian discovered Pyrex shards in the body of this dog in Mexico. The dog's stomach was filled with glass fragments when a brownie desert container was smashed. The dog ate both the brownie and the glass fragments, and it already had a plastic bag in its stomach. Vets utilized a rubber hood to shield the mucosa from the glass edges, preventing injury to the mucosa. They utilized a Carl Storrs gastropack endoscopic device to view what they were doing. All of the huge shards of glass that were seen in the stomach on the initial radiological image were removed. But what about the other items in the colon? As observed in the first radiograph, it appears to be either another piece of glass or a sharp bone. And it also shows in the radiographs at the conclusion of the clip. Thankfully, endoscopy is far more comfortable than open surgery, and this this dog was soon free to romp around and eat all the brownies it wanted. This time, though, without glass. Or there's always chocolates. No, wait, that's almost as bad as glass for dogs. In fact, from now on, eat only dog food, you silly pooch. Number 3. Fishing Net after swallowing plastic fishing nets, this poor marine turtle is in pain. This is unfortunately all too frequent for marine turtles. When plastic enters the water, it undergoes a process known as biofouling in which microscopic bacteria and other creatures cling to it and generate an odor. To see turtles that smells like food, therefore anything with that aroma will be bitten and eaten, and they will be unable to metabolize it. This has a gradual effect on their general health. Sea turtles rose to prominence in the environmental world after a scientist discovered a plastic straw trapped in a sea turtle's nostril, and they became the symbols of anti-plastic campaigns. According to research from the University of Tokyo, both the carnivorous loggerhead and the mostly plant-eating green turtle consume worrying amounts of trash. In fact, loggerhead turtles ate plastic 17% of the time they came upon it, mistaking it for jellyfish. Green turtles, who are likely on the outlook for algae, increased this ratio to 62%. 
Turtles' troubles are caused by more than merely eating plastic. Getting entangled in abandoned fishing nets can quickly kill them by drowning or preventing them from fleeing predators or hunting. Unfortunately, the accumulation of trash at major nesting sites, plus young turtles at danger of becoming entangled in plastic, is preventing them from reaching the sea. The future for turtles who consume plastic is bleak. Eating just one plastic item can be fatal for 22% of them. Internal organs can be ruptured by sharp plastics, and bags can induce intestinal obstructions, leaving turtles unable to feed and starving. Even if they survive, eating plastic causes turtles to become abnormally buoyant, stunning their development and resulting in poor reproduction rates. Number 2. Diamonds Simba, the ginger cat, was a true connoisseur of finer things in life. His owner's favorite piece of costly Tiffany jewelry is among them. Fortunately, these cat experts were able to retrieve it without the need for expensive surgery. Simba's worth appears to have dropped slightly following the procedure, however. Cats are carnivores by nature. To be healthy, they're meant to be programmed to seek out meat and ingest a majority of protein in their meals. So what is it about corn on the cob, a piece of watermelon, or diamonds that attracts them. Cats may be lured to the animal protein, used in the manufacture of plastic bags, or because of the crinkle sound they make. Chewing or eating inedible things like paper or diamonds could be caused by a neurological problem, an underlying medical disease, or a lack of environmental enrichment for certain cats. Number 1. New Species of Ant you might not be thinking of frog vomit as the most fascinating of things. The contents of the amphibian's guts, on the other hand, are a goldmine for researchers looking for new ant species. In the most recent of these findings, scientists have discovered a new species of ant in the vomit of an Ecuadorian toxic frog. The new ant was discovered in the vomit of a species of frog known as the Tiny Devil, or Reina Diablito in Spanish. Because they hunt and can reach locations humans cannot, frogs can frequently be an excellent method to find new bug species, according to the researchers. Researchers catch toxic frogs in the wild, Ufaga selvatica, and flush out their guts. Then they search the vomit for any clues that may lead to new findings. The ant was described in a study published in the open access journal Zookies by researchers from the University of Rochester in New York. Have you ever found anything weird in your pet's stomach? What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.